I think that's one of the, the ways that Mazer has continued to be successful is, is that principle of truth. But also, as they're becoming something, as they go through the halls of Mazer, that the honor and virtue part, they're developing those personal virtues. But then going forward and kind of paying it forward, the last part of our mission statement, they're not only bettering them, themselves, they're bettering their communities. And that that's really what we're hoping, that they're not just going to be consumers, that they will be producers of something great. Well, the Socratic method is so amazing because it involves, it, it takes your history courses and your English literature, they mesh them together and then they apply it to real life principles. So like right now I'm studying World War II and World War I. Well, we just finished World War I and with that we read a book called All Quiet on the Western Front, which takes place in World War I. And then we discussed the kind of everything with World War I and then added it to what was moral and how can we apply these situations and what went on and everything that we learned from these mistakes that all of these countries and leaders made or what worked and what didn't work and put it into real life perspective. And you just, you take all of your literature and your history and it, you become a better person at the end of the class. And that is the greatest thing to me. For my capstone project, I um, created a packet of excerpts from all the books I've read while here at Mazer. And um, the excerpts and quotes that have been most meaningful to me um, from books like Les Mis and Man's Search for Meaning and Less Innocent Blood Be Shed and Life of Pi and stuff like that. And um, I gave it out to middle schoolers and um, then I had a discussion with them about the quotes and what they thought, what their thoughts were and how they connected with them and just kind of to help preempt them into um, heading into high school. We really, really focus on developing meaningful relationships with everybody. I know for me that's a, that's a key part of what I do and why I do what I do. And I think the combination of the Socratic method and deep and meaningful conversations combined with a purposeful approach to like mentoring and those relationships, creating those relationships, creates kind of a magic. Uh, it's really hard to talk about difficult things with people that you don't feel close to or that you don't maybe trust. And so I see a lot of that happening.